shy, drawn to ease, a middle-of-the-road introvert. I have a complicated relationship to silence. As a child, I liked the quiet. It was my invisible friend, my dependable companion. Sometimes on car rides, I'd play possum and pretend to be asleep in the back seat just so I could listen. Sometimes when we played hide and go seek, I'd hide myself in the bathtub just so no one would find me. <laughs> then a time came in middle school when it was no longer cool to be quiet or alone. Whenever there is a detectable pause in classroom conversations, my friends and I would all rush to <clears throat> cough and cover it up because it was really too awkward. <laughs> Then a time came in high school and I was too busy for silence. I had text messages on my brand new flip phone to send. I had SAT words to cram in my head. I had more important things to worry about like gossip from my friends. I wanted to get into college and in the process, I lost my quiet. Now, I have to fight to find silence. Sometimes I put in earbuds and play white noise, which is like silence's cousin, only doesn't drown out the world like I'd hope. Even the times when I'm walking alone, I still might need to stop and say hi to someone, too disquieted to know what to say. It's antisocial to be quiet. Then social anxiety takes over and I just end up blabbering anxious. And even when I do seem to find quiet, the questions barge in, like, does silence even exist, or is it just a social construct? A state of being we can only know in hindsight once it's over. Like, can you know silence and be in it at the same time? Can you be aware of silence without killing it? Silence was once my friend, my home and my companion. Now we're strangers, and when quiet visits, I wonder if it's a sign. Dead silent, we say. Silence reminds us of funerals, the darkness of winter, the sound after the bomb drops. Silence reminds us of fear. Yet I no longer want to be afraid of it. I no longer want to be afraid of facing myself and the thoughts in my own head. They say God is a friend of silence. She is small, still, quiet. If I could listen, sit for a moment and revel in it, kindle that friendship, then even when God feels absent, I could still be quiet. Let my heartbeat be still. And still be alive.